Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a finale for my subscription box split collab. We were going to end it today, the 15th, or by the end of the year in general. But I know for a fact that I won't finish any more products. I'm just going to do the finale now and I do have some empties this time around and I'm pretty excited about it. I have gone through so so much uh, and so many products that I can't even believe it and it is so amazing. I know Jamie she finished even more and uh, Aura and Alexandra they did amazing as well. I'm so so amazed about how we did and it has been so much fun and I can't believe it's like 12 months since we started this, or oh, 11 months. It's it's it's, it's mind blowing. Uh, I just can't believe it. So I will go through my items. There's not that much to say about them, but I will talk a little bit about them. If you haven't seen the series, please check it out. It is so much fun. We chose 10 products in January, and then the next month we all throughout the year we added 10 more items even though we didn't finish the previous 10. So it has been crazy but so much fun. So please check them out down below and the other ladies and let me and let me show you the empties that I have for this month. This one I'm so so excited about. It is my Camadu Wild Body Oil Energize Therapeutic Massage Oil that me and my boyfriend use for massages. This is so amazing. It is it smells so good and it was so nice to use but it is done and I'm so happy I have some other oils I rather want to use that I actually have spent a lot of money on and this was free because I got it in a subscription box so I'm so happy to have this done. I can't really believe I didn't have this finished last time but oh well it is my Tease Cosmetics face powder it is finally done I have spent over half a year finishing this it is so Amazing how long this lasted, but it is done and I'm very very excited to be using another one now. Then I have some samples left that I added in like a one or two months ago. It is my Tinted Doll Ultra 24 hour wear foundation sample from Lancome. It was fine. It was too dark, but it was fine. Um, and the Bruno Banani Danger Dangerous Woman Eau de Toilette perfume sample. Uh, I don't like this and there wasn't that much in it, so <laughs> I didn't. Uh, it smelled okay, but I really, really enjoyed this. It is the Dior Jador enjoy something perfume sample this smells so good so this will be on my wish list for next year's birthday and that is like december next year i I'm, my birthday was on my on monday so yeah great <laughs> there's a whole year until i can um, get this and um, because i don't really buy perfume because I rather want to use it on makeup because that gives me much more joy. So last time I told you guys I couldn't find this but my boyfriend, uh, he visited one of our friends and I forgot it there. So I have it again and I'm so happy I have used it two or three times since I got it back. So it's still at the same line but I'm, I have it back. I'm so excited. <laughs> and then I have begun to use this again. It is shaking up but it is... It is kind of down to here or something, so I'm pretty excited about that. And yeah, I'm very happy to be using this again. Or in general, just use it. It is the Olas Beauty Fluid Day Moisturizer. And this is the Oblequia Siberica Professional Hand Cream thingy. Don't know how to pronounce that. I have still not used my Vita Laborator Luxury Tan Self Tanning Tinted Lotion. Again, I don't use self tan, so I'm not going to use that one I think. I've used this a few times, it is my Nutrilux bronzer. It has looked like this since like September or something. Haven't used this one in a few months, it is my Gush Intense lip color something. It is a very pigmented lip gloss that I will try to finish it next year, but I just didn't feel like the purple lips. I have my Mimi Lip Glide in Playful Peach. 
I have uh, used this a few times, but I will show you the measurement here so you can see my progress. So it is teeny tiny and I will finish it next year, but for now I'm just, I just need a break. I just need a break. The last two items I have is my nail polishes and this Catrice one is all the way down to here. I'm so excited. This is almost turning gooby on me, so it's getting thicker, so I really need to use this up. So I will try to use this up before 2018, but yeah, I don't know. It is getting there and it is my Catrice Cosmetics Ultimate Nail Lacquer in the very, very best. I have it on my nails right now underneath a glitter nail polish. I really, really like this. Um, I love the color and it's perfect for winter, Christmas, <laughs> but I really, really love it. So yeah. And then my Nails Ink Nail Kale in Richmond Park Gardens. I'm just beneath the line here, so I'm down to here or something. So I'm pretty excited about this one actually. It is a huge bottle with like 14 milliliters in it. So this is so so big, but it's a beautiful color and I don't mind at all. I haven't used it up. That is everything for this video. It is very very short. I'm so sorry, but I don't have anything else to say about my products. If you have some questions though, Please leave them down below in the comments. I would love to answer them and I would love to chat with you down below. So please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for future projects. I have so much going on and I have so many plans for 2018. Please check out the other ladies and then I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!